have a lot of friends, guys. Lots of friends today. <laughs> I was guided to be here today. I don't know why. Just follow my intuition, but I don't know. It just feels nice. <laughs> like a whole tribe. Hello, hello guys! Welcome to Angie's vlog. <laughs> Today we're doing a collective reading for water signs. I don't know guys, I've been divinely guided here. Uh, this is my favorite tree. Uh, this is my favorite place. And I guess divine what I need. I don't know, I've just been following my intuition, been guided to come here. After I did a very good meditation, um, really recommend to do for those who are dealing with like past person uh you know cutting the cords and stuff like that people that no longer serve you people who were literally taking advantage of you or taking your energy you know it's good to do that you know especially those who are dealing with very toxic uh twin flames that are no longer for you that they're just not for you and also it's like you you kind of know that you're going into a different direction you know getting a new uh, high level soulmate and you just feel it you just know it and the thing is that they haven't come in yet is because you're still attached to this um like this twin flame person who's very toxic and manipulative and just doing stuff to keep you bound to them and stuff like that um very dark sinister stuff that they're doing also don't mind it just people this is a park, so you're gonna hear people walking around. I'm just gonna continue going, okay? Because I want to try to do less editing. <laughs> um, another thing is that I, I don't know. I just I brought my stuff with me, but I wasn't kind of planning to do this. I was in reading this book. It's very good. It's all about finding yourself and uh, not following whatever religion and stuff like that. It's really like really good higher consciousness. Also, this good too. I've been reading, I just, it's just surprisingly, like, it's just like, she's writing like notes, and that's entirely her book, and I don't know, I feel like this is for people who, I guess, writers or artists who are having trouble thinking that even the notes <laughs> cannot be published or something like that, if you're having that fear or doubt, that's something that I've been healing and trying to work on. Um, this book is amazing. Um, so far, I've been slowly but surely letting go of this fear, which is really good. So, I don't know. This is for some of you, water science, I guess. Um, all right. So, let's get into it. I was guided to bring three specific decks. But first, we're going to tap into tarot. And then we're going to get some advice from your ancestors. And then angel messages. Angel uh, advice, okay? We're going to try to make it as... Sweden, Sweden, Sweden sounds sweet as possible. <laughs> sweet, love is sweet. <laughs> All right, write a sign. This is a collective reading. Remember, take whatever resonates and leave the rest. Okay. This is um, some May advice. Some things that you need to be um, looking forward to. But also, this is a timeless reading. So if you get this in May or June or whatever just it was meant for you to see at that time okay don't force what doesn't meant to be forced okay if this doesn't resonate you know there's other readings that you can go look up but other than that let's see what's going on what's going on with water signs spirit thank your angels and our sisters please let us know what we need to see for water signs at this point in time, what are their advice that we need to see, yeah, you're de definitely guys dealing with some blockages, some conflict, um, I'm really feeling like in the cards, yeah, some lovers, toxic like lovers, toxic like people, someone love bombing, mm -hmm. someone not letting go, not getting over you or something like that, I'm hearing, yeah, keeps popping out the eight of swords this is mental conflict someone is in their head overthinking constantly thinking about something or somebody's been doing this yes yeah, about the past someone in the past 
could be charcoal and or charcoal blooms. Um, someone a past person, a past life could be. Some of you could be having that during this time. But yeah, this eclipse that just passed with the new moon in Taurus. Like, don't be surprised. Like, you know, as a psychic reader, it, it's. I've been getting those messages, but don't be surprised that during your meditation or when you're sleeping and your dreams, you get like your past life, um, who you were in the past life. Um, perhaps, you know, you will see like maybe something that you did in the past that right now you're kind of dealing with it and you're kind of like, okay, is that something that I have to heal, that I have to let go of or something so it doesn't manifest in this lifetime? I believe it is. The Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is all about reciprocity, right? It's something that you weren't um, doing in a past life, okay? Perhaps. Others of you, uh, this is some of you, are really in your head. With the Six Six, this is all about love. Some of you are overthinking about someone. You want to give reciprocity. You want to give... You don't want it to be the one-sided, okay? Like it was in the past. I feel like some of you are healing this situation where every love relationship or something... It was just always you giving. It was always you being there for the person. It was always you perhaps texting. It was always you, you know, trying to uh, go into days, trying to, you know, make the relationship work, right? And I feel like right now you're always in your head because you finally let go of this, you heal this situation, right? But now it's like you finally are in a place where there is reciprocity. Some of you can be going into a new relationship. Some of you are thinking about going into a new relationship. Uh, others of you are, you know, perhaps let go of a job that it wasn't good for you, but now you're thinking it's like, okay, now I found actually a job that actually, you know, pays well and does all these things, but it's kind of hard for you to, um, to believe this, right? All right, water signs. But this is a, there's a lot of healing going on here for sure. Especially like you guys are working on your finances, trying to create stability, balance. You're trying to balance yourself, which is good. But I'm hearing like stop overthinking so much. Yeah, the six of wands, something not successful. Yeah, it's a truth. Is this overthinking? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you're not stuck. Some of you think you're stuck, but you're not. This is a mind. Your mind is playing a trick on you, on water signs. On water signs, you have to remember that you're someone very, very sensitive, very highly intuitive. Perhaps this is why my reading had to start with you. Right here, in this place, you need to ground yourself. Go into the water, have bath, meditate, pray, you know because I feel like you're always in your head and I'm going to say it very nicely. You are heavily, highly manifestors, okay? So whatever you think, it is. So if you're thinking that you're not good enough for a relationship, for a job, for something, for a career or whatever, it is, you're right. But if you think the other way, it's just about changing your perspective, your mindset, because this is, I don't believe that this is, yeah. Here, you're also hearing other people talking shit. Nine of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords here in the tower. Some of you are not trying to deal with something. But yeah, it's whatever you believe, it really manifests for you guys. But I feel like a lot of you are thinking that is the truth that you're not going to be successful that it's better like somebody's not single or something like that or some of you are you're not going to be successful or something like that i don't know what the heck is going on but it's all like a mind trick like a mind game here it's a sort of something about the truth something is going to be revealed to you about a lie there's a lie here someone's lying someone's telling you something about someone perhaps that they're not single or that they're materialistic or something like that or this could be you you're lying to yourself or you're telling someone lies or something like that take it how it resonates 
But the six of wands is if you're trying to jeopardize someone's finances or something like that, someone's not going to be successful here. This is you or somebody is doing this to you. Some of you, you're dealing with someone who doesn't want you to be single. And they don't want you to be successful. <laughs> this is somebody in the past, someone that you were dating. Way in a water signs. And it could be this queen of swords that you're trying to avoid uh, conflict with. It's a tower moment, but I feel like this is a good tower. Because someone here is speaking the truth. There's somebody here that's going to tell you guys the truth about this situation. Yeah, Page of Wands. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Empress in reverse. Oh, wow. Okay, this is good energy. And you have the star. Wow, water signs. You guys are dealing with a lot right now definitely someone trying to jeopardize your life, your love life, your finances. I'm here, listen to your intuition, okay? Because let me show you why. You got fake energy. The star in reverse talks about somebody who, literally a fallen star, a fallen angel with the devil in reverse. It's someone that you let go of for sure. This could be a fast person. The page of one is like they're trying to block communication, your creativity. But the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. It has to do with something about, yeah, karma. Someone, yeah. Wait, no water signs. I, I honestly think you should not be near this person, whoever this is. If this is your past person, an ex or a family member or something like that, fuck, get the hell out. Yeah, I can't make it up. You see, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. The Page of Wands is trying to block your yeah, communication, your creativity, or something that you want to do. Anything, honestly. But they're getting bad. It's because they're getting bad karma, so they want you to be involved in this. It's because it's something that they have done to you. You have the Empress in reverse. This is someone very manipulative, toxic as fuck. Again, dealing with the devil energy. But again, it's in reverse. That means you let this go, which is good, okay? Whoever it is, you, you gotta continue healing and cut at the core. This is someone very fake, okay? The Empress and the Star in reverse. This is in the devil. Yeah, very fake. And they're dealing with some serious karma right now. So the advice here is to walk away from the situation, okay? Cut the core. Cut the core. Do some meditation, cut the cord, cut negativity, blockages or something like that. This person literally have done everything they could possibly can to keep you from moving forward. Okay? The Seven of Swords is literally sneaky energy, doing stuff behind your back. Could be dark magic, witchcraft on you and stuff like that to keep you from moving forward. Whoever it is that you're trying to move forward from or if there's a new relationship or something. If this person knew that you're trying to move away from a new relationship, trying to get into a new relationship, new job, new anything. It's like they're trying to... Yeah, they're miserable and sad. Yeah, but you have nothing to worry about. You have the strength and you have the seven of wands. You're being protected right now, okay? Highly protected. And I'm hearing also, make sure that you're meditating, okay? Make sure that you're meditating, praying, you know, focusing on yourself. But you have nothing to worry about. Right now, the strength card is here, which means it's like you're working on this. You're working on your inner strength, your, your you know. But also, I feel like, you know, make sure that you are focusing on your light and dark don't focus too much on the dark side of this that's why it's good to heal see how she has the dark and the light okay be that lion okay but in a good way stay humble you know stay just keep doing your thing you know what i'm saying yeah because you see the more you heal the more like you know you're going to that inner fulfillment that that um ten of cups is literally happiness joy emotional fulfillment for real you know the hermit it's literally that it's like you're you've healed you've been healing this situation it's like you're coming out of this uh, this hermit mode that you were and i feel like you have to go because it's like you have to realize this for yourself yeah oh <laughs> spirit is funny yeah you're not in your head anymore you let go of this burdens which is good all this burnout, all this too much. It was too much. This person was too much. Yeah, you're healing. It's heartbreak. Yeah. That's good. 
this May is going to be that just healing and focusing on yourself, healing the situation, anything that doesn't serve you. It could be a family member with the ten the king of pentacles here. It could be a father figure or someone, someone very toxic and materialistic. Yeah, someone who lies. They lie. They lie a lot. Yeah. About family or ten of pentacles. Like, yeah, they're trying to disrupt your... I feel like you have a legacy or a generational wealth, some of you, uh, water signs, and I feel like somebody's trying to jeopardize that. See? But it's not working. And they're mad. They're really mad. Because whatever they're doing is not working. They're trying to keep you in some type of illusion and stuck. But now you leave. Yeah, you're leaving someone in the cold here. You're, you're walking away from someone. Some of you are walking away from this illusion, this people family whatever the fuck yeah it's like you know they're blocking your communication are keeping you in balance these are very imbalanced people honestly yeah you're calling judgment on this because you're not happy these people don't make you happy and they're not happy with themselves so that's it you're calling judgment on this because you know this you know they're very jealous and envious of you. Very toxic. It's like they're always constantly emotionally manipulating you. Like my, mentally. Like this is mental manipulation. Spiritual too. I mean for sure you, you're, you just got aware of the mental. Of the spiritual though. That's why you're calling it's over. It's done. You're going through a rebirth right now. Ego death for sure. Yeah. All these secrets. All this stuff has been real to you. Oh I'm getting wet. <laughs> Yay! I just being blessed right now. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you, they rebirth their soul. Whatever they were doing to you is is literally like it backfire. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the ancestors offer you. But honestly, just continue working on yourself. Continue healing this month because honestly, that's oh. Okay, it's popped up. Yeah, animal guardian, trust your instinct. You already know who these people are, right? Yeah, we don't have to say much. You know who they are. But you literally have animal guardians. Like, you can have uh, birds also as animal guardians. Dogs, I'm hearing. Um, could be owls. You can see owls in your dreams and stuff like that. Crows. Crows are also um, spirit guides. Yeah, you have a lot of protection. Yeah, protection guardian, drop your shoes. Some of you are really, um, your heart, you're protecting your heart right now from these people or anything like that. But also be careful because when you lock your heart, you block your manifestations or you you tend to um, jeopardize or self-sabotage your connection with somebody that you're trying to be with right now, right? Or if it's a job or something like that, or if it's money or finances or you're trying to manifest or something like that, yeah. So right now, honestly, it's like, you're being protected by a higher much higher forces okay so don't have to worry about the only thing that i would suggest is that protect your energy and your peace basically so protect your energy and your peace meaning from these people that are trying to you know suck on your energy or harm you so make sure that you're creating boundaries that you're creating you know if you need to block these people they're not respecting your boundaries you need to get away from that okay yeah she will unleash your while within of course Unleash that well within. It's like you have this uh, knowledge, inner knowledge, this inner spirit, this inner light, you know, and it really irritates these people's demons, right? So just continue being you. Don't change her. Don't change your heart, I'm hearing. Don't change your heart, I'm hearing. Don't change your heart. Don't change your heart, okay? Because you've probably been dealing with a lot of horrible situation. And, but don't change your heart, okay? Air guardian, shift your perception. Yeah, absolutely. Shift your, your, your mindset. Because I feel like you've been stuck in a mindset for a long time. Ooh, yes. Earth Mother. Feel loved and comforted. You'll be dealing with an Earth sign. Somebody that gives you gives you peace. There's a lot of Earth signs here. Interesting. I feel like it's an Earth sign trying to help you guys. But definitely water signs. You do have a lot of protection and a lot of um guides and letting you know like continue doing your thing continue following that passion that 
what makes you uh, happy, okay? And fuck all these people, honestly. Whatever, whoever gives you a bad vibe and negative energy, block that shit, okay? You don't need that, those people around you. Honestly, you don't. They don't serve you, they don't... And I feel like you are working on that, which is, takes time, you know, it takes transformation and ego death takes time. Yeah, what do you desire? This is your angels. Hopefully you guys can hear me. <laughs> it's kind of loud here, but hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> uh, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know what you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if it's by magic. What do you desire, water signs? Yeah, blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, as soon as you focus on yourself and cut all that energy off that no longer serve you, you're going to see there's so many blessings everywhere. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answer prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves, trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, ooh, got entrepreneurs here. Got entrepreneurs. What? Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your core workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Okay, Water Signs, you guys are entrepreneurs. Yeah, new partner. Oh, shit. See? That's what we're talking about. There's someone new. You guys are, like, into someone. And somebody's trying to block that. A chance meeting is not a mistake. It's divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we set into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Yeah, so I feel like you've, you've been getting new people in your life and stuff like that. And Oh, child. You care deeply about children and their readily respond to your love all children including your own inner child require love affection and attention we can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you wow so you probably could be a, a teacher or someone who works with children somebody who works with like care or something like that or hmm, interesting but definitely you're definitely gonna you met new people you're going to meet new people but i feel like you're, some of you are destined to have your own business your own stability your own thing and also i feel like there's a new person who is gonna ignite that for you all right rather signs i'm sending you so much love i hope this helped you wow 22 Ooh, go universe <laughs> i'm sending you good vibes okay and you got this water sign this may is gonna be amazing for you make sure that you see the blessing in disguise make sure that you're working on that and being an entrepreneur takes a lot of takes a lot of courage you know a lot of uh saying fuck you to a lot of people who don't believe in your in, in your possibility on your talents and gifts uh you definitely could be a person that could be doing many multiple things you know but that's okay you know having multiple jobs while you build your little business that's okay well, most of us have been doing that okay and there is a new partner there's someone new that you've been been wanted to approach but i feel like it's a lot of fears and uh but also it's all the people projecting and trying to block that okay so make sure you're cleansing you're cutting cords and um you know believing in yourself and not let fear uh block your blessings okay i'm sending you love see you later Bye. make sure you like comment and subscribe uh no comment sorry i'm still but yeah make sure you like and subscribe so I'm able so other water signs are able to get this message too and that's it guys bye <laughs>